appear just like Carrie hunting even in my lyrically so insane now uh. So I'm majestic, diving the agenda Sanu na ki se di me please is the problem Kain ne lo ho, they see me as a problem Samme ju na lave me nu ki, the problem I give them a cure with a fresh new album Hey guys, we're here today in New York at the Indo-American Art Council's 15th anniversary gala. And we're going to talk to a few people and show you guys exactly what they do to promote Indo-Pak art here in New York. So let's get started. I've got an amazing team. I've got an amazing entertainer, Paul Williams, with Kenny Asher. And I've got a superb uh, fashion show. So it's going to be stupendous. It, it demonstrates the stability and sustainability and ongoing purpose of the Indo-American Arts Council, which is undeniable. So this evening is a wonderful tribute to the great work of Arun Shivdasani and all of the incredible artists who have contributed their talents uh, to really bring up Indian culture in New York. Any young South Asian that I meet who have questions, I am so glad to talk with. I just went to Northwestern and I did a talk with a whole load of young uh, BC college kids and it was refreshing and wonderful to talk to um, all of this wonderful, uh, bubbling young youth. And you know, a big thing that I said is you have to support people who are South Asian in the entertainment business because that will give us more opportunities and more jobs. So please, support us. <laughs> And why do you think that, um, what's your contribution to this organization? You know, I really always support um, South Asian artists just as much as East Asian artists. I'm here with my dear friend Reshma Shetty and um, yeah, I just, I love to see artists grow and flourish and I'm a big fan of, you know, South Asian culture and, and what it's brought into my life and inspired me and like to see how different artists bring in different cultural influences and stories to share? Um, I think it's important because we have a very small community of artists in the United States or you know internationally and uh, when you have a small community especially when you're in the arts the only way you can do it is if you support each other doing it alone is an impossible thing and also you need a community especially if you're writing or creating work that deals with the South Asians to feel part of a network I like the idea of promoting good talent, you know, whether it be South Asian or anything else. But what's really special about being here and being at IAAC is that it does create, it gives us an adda, you know, it gives us a place to be where we can see South Asian talent, whether it be film or song or dance, in the most cutting edge version of itself uh, in a place, you know. So uh, I really support IAAC for that reason. And I think, you know, one must support good talent, you know, not just simply because we're South Asian, but because we're exciting. It's vital to the development of South Asian talent and South Asian stories and South Asian films. Um, because if we don't support our own people and our own stories and, and the stories that come out of our own areas of the world, who will? And it's because of Indo-American Arts Council, Arun Shiv Dasani, that so many of our stories have, have sort of gone out into the world and become world stories as opposed to just simply South Asian stories.